Well, hello there, my little POC champs. I'm 99% sure there's gonna be like one boomer guy leaving a comment under this video along the lines of, what? What did you just call me? I will not stand for such nonsense. I'm unsubscribing from your channel immediately. So yeah, anyway, we have a very special video today. That's right, after almost a year, I finally decided to make a sequel to the top five terminal color schemes video. However, while conducting a very extensive research for that video, I discovered a very fun fact, and that is that colors and fonts are different. So when it comes to colors, most of us have the vocabulary to describe colors correctly and you know color schemes as well. So this color scheme is vibrant or it's dull or it's bluish or it has warm tones or something like that. But with fonts, personally, I don't have the kind of vocabulary to describe fonts accurately and you know scientifically correct. What is this part of a letter called? What is this little thing? Am I supposed to say like, the thin lines on the serif of the letter L are extraordinary. So we're going in completely blind. I don't know what any of the parts of fonts and letters are called. I'm not gonna do any research for that video either. Who do you think I am, Lindsay Ellis? So yeah, I'm just gonna tell you about my favorite fonts and you're gonna go in the comments and tell me exactly why my tastes are wrong. So number five is Iosifka. So I know that a lot of people are gonna get angry because I put this font on number five and not like number one or something, but I have my own reasons. Iosifka is pretty much the only font that kind of, you know, goes off the beaten trail and does something else, you know, it's, it's very unique, it's kind of narrow, it has this sort of unique shape and form, and it doesn't look like most, you know, programming and, and monospace fonts. And while that might be an advantage to some people because it kind of brings this, you know, freshness, something new to, you know, the everyday routine of programming and, you know, working in a terminal, I personally find it kind of hard in the eyes because things that are written in this font are not like immediately legible to me. I have to kind of strain my eyes and be like, you know, what is written there? So even though I appreciate the effort that went into making this font, Font, I personally wouldn't use it on my machine. That being said, Iosifka includes a bunch of substyles, ligatures. In case you don't know what ligature is, it's basically when you take this and then it magically becomes this. Wow, amazing. I know, right? So basically, Iosifka does have that, and that's great. The next font on our list is San Francisco Mono. Now, I know that including this font on my list is a hot take in and of itself because it was made by Apple of all companies, but don't worry, it will get even worse. You'll see what I mean later. So basically, SF Mono is kind of like a go-to font for those cases where I just need something with no frills, no extra bells and whistles, it looks fine, nothing extraordinary, nothing special, and it's kind of easy on the eyes. It's very easily legible, in my opinion. So that's why I included it on the list. It doesn't have any fancy features. It doesn't include ligatures, as far as I know. There is a version with ligatures from someone on GitHub, so you can try this one out if you want, but personally, I use the original one. So yeah, SF Mono is nothing special, but it is a decent font. Next font on our list is Cascadia Code. Remember I said that Apple is not the worst company that is going to be included in this list? So get this, Cascadia Code was developed by Microsoft. But despite that, it's an amazing font and it's my go-to font for terminals. I don't like it very much in the code situations when I need to you know, write a program or something like that, so I don't use it in my IDEs. But when it comes to terminals, it looks very good in my opinion. That's where I kind of regret my lack in vocabulary when it comes to fonts. Cascadia kind of looks like Fire Code, but it, it's kind of more round, you know, it kind of has more, more like characters or something, I don't know. I can't describe fonts very well, and that's the best I can do. And then number two on our list is Fire Code. Now, Fire Code is my favorite font when it comes to both terminals and IDEs. You know, with Cascadia Code, for example, it looks good in terminals, but not that much in IDEs, in my opinion. But with Fire Code, that's personally what I use in terminals and IDEs. It has ligatures, which is super cool. And like I said, personally, it is my favorite monospace font. I use it everywhere. And last but not least, number one, the best font ever. That's right. Comic Mono. The very typeface you've been trained to recognize since childhood. You know how about some things people used to say, well, you know, there is like as many tastes as there are people. Well, that's not the case. This font is objectively the best font. If you don't think so, you have poor taste. Deal with it. So that's gonna be it. Just decided to make this fun little video real quick for you guys. And as usual, I do want to thank my patrons. Tim, Mitchell Valentino, Ray Piria, and everyone else who supports this channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.